What's up there guys, Gareth William 414 here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, 10 facts about the Celtic Guardian. On this channel I do Yu-Gi-Oh character deck duels, character deck profiles and fact videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and share this video with a friend that's into Yu-Gi-Oh as that would really help the channel out. The Celtic Guardian is a 4 star Earth Attribute Warrior type monster with 1400 attack and 1200 defense. Its text reads, an elf who learned to wield a sword. He baffles enemies with light swift attacks. So with that being said, let's get straight in to the facts. This monster has a retrained counterpart, Obnoxious Celtic Guard. Either this monster or Obnoxious Celtic Guard appear in the artworks of Heroes Guild, Summoning Clock, Superior Protector and Triggered Summon. The Bandai version of this card has 1300 attack and 2200 defense and is level 5, while the Kunami version has 1400 attack, 1200 defense and is of course level 4. Some versions of the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon Print have the Japanese version of the logo on the back bottom right corner of the card, instead of the English version's Yu-Gi-Oh logo. This card's second OCG artwork is taken from the title page of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Duel 66, seen through. When Atem summons this monster for the first time during his duel with Pegasus, he refers to this monster as Elf Swordsman, which is its Japanese name. Celtic Guardian's first appearance in the anime was in Episode 2, when Yugi used this in his duel against Maximilian Pegasus. He summons this card against the Illusionist Faceless Mage, but Pegasus uses the second effect of Eye of Illusion to redirect the attack to Yugi's Dark Magician, who Pegasus took control of via Eye of Illusion. Dark Magician then destroys the Celtic Guardian. The last time that Yugi used this card was in episode 142 and he used it in the duel against Yami Marek. He banishes this card in order to activate Ragnarok. This card was then shown as one of the many monsters that were used to hold down Marek's Winged Dragon of Ra. Its final appearance in the anime came in episode 222. This card appears in a flashback Atem has when he reminds Yugi Moto that he taught him that a person's life is more important than winning. This card has three different artworks printed by Konami, all featuring the monster in different positions and with different backgrounds, but when this card was released it was drawn in a different position compared to its manga artwork. Thank you so much for watching guys, there were 10 facts about Celtic Guardian. I hope you enjoyed the video and of course you learned something new. If you'd like to see more of these fact videos and you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and also if you like the video don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with a friend that's into Yu-Gi-Oh as it would really help the channel out. If there's a monster, card or character that you'd like to see me cover in one of these fact videos, of course drop me a comment in the comment section below and I'll look around to get in that done. But that is all from me guys, thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video. Take care.